everyone and welcome to another vlog series. We are on our way to Orlando, Florida right now because we are going to Disney World. No surprise, that's usually where vlogs <laughs> end up. But we are in Alabama right now. We're actually driving. This is the first time that we have driven since January? We didn't January when we went to go drop me off for my DCP. Oh yeah, psycho. I was like January. Yeah, that was the last time that we drove. Yeah. It's been a while. We've been flying ever since, but Bella's not a fan of flying. To be fair, I just need time to work up to it. Bella, but I have really bad anxiety when it comes to flying. <laughs> Bella has really bad anxiety when it comes to flying, and just add COVID on top of it and so that was just not something that we wanted to deal with this time around we're trying to be as safe as possible going to disney obviously wearing masks and such here we are we're on our way to disney right now we're actually in the car we're about to head into bucky's in mobile alabama and i'm gonna take you guys in there because if you guys don't know what a bucky's is you need to find out they're in alabama they're pretty much in the southern states right now but it's the best gas station in the whole wide world and so yeah i'm gonna show you what that's like because it's basically a mall in itself honestly on a gas really? station on like a food court, yeah. on like a convenience <laughs> store shops. So it's everything in one. Yeah. And the cleanest bathroom. And obviously we need a potty break with this 14 hour car ride. We've been in the so, car for how long? We've been in the car probably for about seven, seven to, yeah, eight seven to eight hours now. We're halfway through, which is like the good news, but we won't be in Orlando till about probably six o'clock tonight. So that that's kind of the downside of driving yeah. and but again we were trying to avoid the airport we were trying to avoid flying because of covid me and bella have already filmed a video talking about our packing our priorities and um plans for this trip so if you guys want to click out of here and possibly link. go watch that link it down below if you guys want to go and see basically what our expectations were of like keeping ourselves safe for this trip and just trying to enjoy ourselves i think like everybody else we've just been ready to semi get back to normal life obviously we still have to be very very cautious yeah. and we totally respect everyone if you decide to not travel yet and you decide to not leave and maybe you're still quarantining and you know you're still doing what's best for you and your family but for us we just we need to go me and bella have been essential <laughs> workers yeah since the could. pandemic started if you guys don't know we work for h-e-b -E -E um a big grocery store in texas hopefully you guys have heard about it they're an amazing company but they've been so good to us but we've also been working throughout the pandemic so we're exhausted we no, needed a vacation yes. we need yes. our happy place yes. desperately so we decided it's time so we came to we're on our way to disney world we're gonna be there for about four days and we're just gonna have a good time and enjoy ourselves and stay safe though so, um let's go into bucky's Yay. Yay. on yeah. and it's just a, a weird time here <laughs> we just got to the resort we just actually mobile ordered food it's about mm -hmm. eight it's about 8 30 almost nine o'clock yeah, and no, we're nine. yeah it's yeah. nine o'clock we're <laughs> starving we haven't eaten we took some snacks on the road but we're hungry we're ready for yeah. some, some fresh food some hot food so we just placed that mobile order i'm about to uh say that we're here ready to pick it up so hopefully it works out this is the first time that we'll ever be mobile ordering at all That's with disney true, yeah. got cheeseburgers nothing crazy yeah. honestly the resort as far as like food do you feel like they have like some really great options or i mean aside from like their like cuban sandwich and like the fish tacos like everything else is pretty much the same pretty like, much the same burgers yeah. chicken chicken uh, strips chips, yeah yeah so. i know that they have like a signature uh, dining restaurant on property it's called sebastian's bistro but unfortunately it's closed right now because of covid and everything and they just haven't opened back up 
club. So it would be nice to dine there sometime. I actually have before when my parents came to come visit me during my DCP, but Bella and my brother have not. And forgot to mention that literally our whole family is here for this trip. It's not yes. just me and Bella. My mom and my dad are here and my brother are here. So it's a family trip. So you're gonna be seeing us do all the fun things <laughs> this week. Hopefully everything that we had planned. We're starving. I think we're gonna explore the resort a little bit for tonight because we wanna get up early to get rides to the resistance pa uh, passes tomorrow. So we're gonna explore the resort. We're gonna eat. We're also, gonna it smells like really good in here. It smells like coconut and I love coconut and like I'm just like, <sighs> Trying to breathe that all in. Mm -hmm. like and side note, we're actually staying here again in February yes. for Bella's birthday trip. Happy birthday, woo! So yeah. So, be a, um, another vlog series that we have. So it's kind of nice to kind of see the resort before we actually stay here again and just kind of get like that experience beforehand so we don't like completely go into it unknown. Yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick up our food now. Okay, so this is my phone right now. Um, here's our mobile order. It's got a breakdown of everything that we ordered right here. Oh, it's a little loud in here. So um, there is kind of like the time zone of like where it's at right now. So it's not ready yet. Once it gets to that third, that third bar right there, it'll tell us that it's ready for pickup. But yeah, that was pretty easy. Okay, so I got a regular cheeseburger. Ryan, what'd you get? Bacon cheeseburger? Yeah. Bacon cheeseburger? Yeah. Bacon cheeseburger. And a kid's cheeseburger for mom. <laughs> Okay, so I'm guessing this is where they would normally have other kind of like seating in here, but this is the quick service here in um, Caribbean Beach. So, hi. <laughs> and so they have all these seats right here. I actually haven't seen any tables that say that they're reserved specifically for social distancing, but while we were eating, literally that, that family just got there. We were sitting in that middle table, so nobody was around, which was really great, but it's still really safe. We were able to take our masks off and eat. So yeah, this is where they would, they would normally have all the different quick service windows, but they have uh, mobile ordering for now right there at that window. And then you get your drinks a little bit further down. So everything's by mobile order, so you can't really walk up and kind of pick what you want anymore. It's just kind of like, it is what it is for now. But, um, <laughs> Bella, what did you think about your burger? Um, everybody else thought it was trash. I mean, it wasn't <laughs> trash. I mean, they just didn't like it. But for me, I'm pretty sure it's just because I was hungry. I gave it a nine out of 10. <laughs> that was generous. That was very that was generous. generous. <laughs> but it didn't stop and it satisfied me and now I feel good. So, okay, yeah. I mean, you can't complain. <laughs> yeah. Our burger, it, I, it was a regular Disney burger. I don't think that there was really much to rave about. Some of it was a little bit cold. The meat is always kind of like hard. It, it is what it is. We were just starving. We were ready to get something in our stomach. We're about to explore the resort a little bit and then probably head back to our room to go to bed. But it was just enough to satisfy us for right now because we were so hungry. So hopefully no more bad burgers during this trip. <laughs> I've made a vow to like not eat another Disney burger for this trip. I don't know how you guys feel about them. I just personally don't like them. Bella apparently was very happy with her burger tonight. Yes. <laughs> so to honest, I think I don't think I've had a, a burger from Disney since we came in like October. Was it October? Oh, for a September trip. When I had the the, the Lotto burger, and that one was up there. Like this one, the one that I just had, trash. The one that Lotto burger up there, but I mean, yeah. it, it's a burger. Yeah. I mean, you know what you're getting into when you buy it. So yeah. So I mean, it, it, it did its purpose. We're yeah. full. We're we ate. Got some food in our bellies, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead. Uh, me and Bella actually wanna go ahead and do a room tour for you guys. Um, we checked into our room. We haven't really had a chance to kind of show you guys what that looks like, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna explore the resort a little bit, explore the gift shop, so yeah. Oh, hi! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give you our room tour now. So um, obviously this is the front door where we come in. Um, we have two of these queen size beds right here. And then over here to the side, Bella, if she wants to present. Oh yeah, I was just about to say, should I just be like the? <laughs> yeah, so like this is um, the small table that they give you in the room right here. And then they have like this mirror. And then um, this is kind of where we're gonna house all of the uh, masks and everything, Lysol spray, sanitizer that we need um, for the week. And then obviously you guys see the TV. Um, so you have the fridge right here, which is, filled already as you can tell <laughs> and then we also have a fit sleeper that has mickey in a hammock very cute yeah and then obviously this has been turned on from like the minute that we got here because we do not come to a disney resort without it being on so um yeah we have that one that's where ryan's gonna be sleeping tonight parents right here us right here it's gonna be great um and then you walk over here and this is the bathroom so Hello, um, obviously we've kind of like unpacked already. You can see all our stuff here at the bottom, but there's two sinks, which is really, really nice. 
obviously in the morning when we have to like get ready and we have to um, brush our teeth, do our makeup, do all that stuff at once. Uh, so that's really nice to have two sinks. Mm -hmm. And then over to the side right here, we have the bathroom um, with the, the door that closes. So that's really nice. That way, this is some privacy. If you know somebody's trying to get ready over here, you can have two people doing that at once. Um, and obviously that now loud noise is a fan, but um, pretty simple, pretty basic, obviously toilet, shower, towels and everything. Um, the room pretty much just speaks for itself. It is just a basic moderate resort. Um, I don't think that these have been refurbished in a minute. They're not bad. Um, I just know that Dizzy's trying to really get rid of um, carpet. So hopefully they redo these soon, but it's still not a bad room. I actually enjoy it. It smells really clean in here. Um, and that's one thing that we usually look out for in a resort is for it to be clean. So, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Oh, also, yeah, let me show you. I like, I think this is pretty cool. So these clothes, like barn doors. So again, a little bit more privacy if somebody out here is trying to sleep and you're trying to get ready or whatever, you know, so. I think it's a pretty great room. Um, we're liking the resort so far. We're gonna go explore the lobby a little bit more and explore the gift shop. So, yeah. Okay, so this is what the lobby looks like. It's a very island theme. It smells so great in here, as Bella's mentioned before. Yeah. It's just a really nice lobby. Ever since they refurbished this, I think it looks amazing. And it I looks, like yeah, the way that the fans are. Yeah, yeah they look very tropical. Like they look like a get, it looks like a getaway. Yeah. Like you're somewhere different, which is really nice. That's kind of what you want in a resort, honestly. Yeah. Especially these more moderate resorts. Like you want something that's less Disney in your face. Mm -hmm. And I think it kind of gives you that, so. Yeah, I love it a lot. Okay, so we're gonna head into the gift shop and kind of see what goodies we can find. So we just found these really cool pins, if it'll focus, that are all Christmas themed, but they're also themed to the resort. So that one says Saratoga Springs on it, and it's got Bella, Bella, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> not Bella. It's got Belle and um, her horse, and then this one's Rivera Resort, and it's Donald and Daisy. Port Orleans has Tiana, obviously, so um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Session. Really, it's like with Monopoly. Like I love like limited edition ones. So, or like just like anything in general. I just love board games. So they have like the Clue Villains, which I'm really tempted on getting because I I just in general I love board games. I have the Disney one already, but I think this is is this the same one. I'm pretty I sure. don't know. I wonder if it's it looks... the same one. But it had no because this one has Rise of the Resistance on it. Oh, so, so this is a new have, edition. Yeah, it might be like an updated one because there's an old one. No, the one that we have has like Disneyland. Some of their rides as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, but yeah, and then they have like the Candyland. Like, I'm really tempted to just buy like all of these. I love <laughs> board games so much. So, um, we had a good look inside the gift shop. Kind of already got ideas of what we think we're gonna buy already. Because <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but ever since we've been quarantined and we haven't been able to visit Disney, we've realized there's so much merch that we really want to yeah. buy. So we're, we came to spend money so we can have a good haul for you guys <laughs> yes. uh, once the trip is over. So, Bella, did you find some good stuff that you wanted to buy? Yes. There's one. Uh, spare jersey that I didn't find, but hopefully I can find it in Magic Kingdom. It's the Christmas, like to get like a green mm -hmm. with like the candy cane looking letters. Yeah, like, that's uh -huh. like literally the one thing that I want. So if I get that, I'll, I'll be Gucci. Yeah, <laughs> I saw some masks in there that I wanted. I saw some Christmas oh, yeah, merchandise yeah. in there that Christmas I wanted. Masks. Obviously, some of the board games were obsessed with board games, yes, and she definitely them. collects board games. So we're gonna come back for some of that stuff. The only yeah. thing is that it's kind of late, it's about 10 o'clock right now, it's yes. probably about like 10 15, <laughs> and the gift shop actually closed. So it was closing while we were in there. So mm -hmm. I want to leave, I didn't want to keep anybody waiting from going home so we left and so they shut down we didn't get a chance to purchase anything today but definitely tomorrow and hopefully the days to come we'll be here until about thursday so <laughs> sorry you, as you can tell like the arm keeps falling because we haven't vlogged in so long so yes. should, we're just trying to get used to it again so we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here look out for another vlog coming sometime next week we're gonna be in hollywood studios tomorrow yes. hopefully hopefully doing uh rise of the resistance we gotta wake yes. up super early to catch those boarding passes and I don't know, I guess whatever kind of like the day brings us. It's gonna be a little bit rainy here in the next few days, so hopefully that doesn't hurt the vlog too much. We can actually get some content for you guys. Look forward to those vlogs. Until then, have fun. And don't get lost. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys.